Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So on today's video, we're going to be going after the tree fish. Let's go ahead and pull up the tree fish here. We can see that it likes whopper plopper. I'm not quite sure why, since it's a bottom fish. <laughs> Grasshopper and worm. So I'm going to give you a little insight on how I do some of my research. And I'm going to bring up my spreadsheet. And if you didn't know, I do have a spreadsheet. Down in the description, there's a link that's got spreadsheets. There, there's spreadsheets to all the DLCs. Um, and this is how I kind of do my research. So let me bring up my spreadsheet and I'll kind of show you how we'll figure out where we're going to go for this tree fish because it is on multiple locations. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet and we're going to be looking for the tree fish, which I have right there. And as you can see, it is a mid and bottom. It's a large fish and it's found on locations 1, 4, 6, 9, 13, and 14. So it's found on a lot of locations. So then what I do is I go through and I look at the bait that I like. So, like I said, we got Whopper Plopper. It is a bottom fish. Whopper Plopper's on the top, so that's gone. Not even gonna try that. Uh, we do have Grasshopper and Worm. So, many locations, there's a lot of fish that like the worm, and there's also quite a few fish that like the Grasshopper. So let's kind of break it down. It's on one, four, six, nine, and 13. Let's see if we have any it's to the worm. We got 14. It's a top and mid, so that one's not going to be too bad. And then we go down here. We got 1, 6, 9, and 13. It's a top and mid. Again, that's not going to be too bad because we'll be fishing on the bottom for this one using the worm if we use worm. And then we go down here. Worm, we got nine, 1, 9, and 13. It's on all depths. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cancel out 1, 9, and 13. So we're not going to do 1, 9, and 13 if we use the worm. We go down a little bit farther. And let's go down here to the red drum. It's a mid fish, so it is going to go down after the worm on the bottom as well, because it is a mid. One, four, six, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen. That just cancels out all of those. So let's go ahead and go over here to the grasshopper. The grasshopper, we have that one's on top, two, eleven, fourteen. Doesn't matter. That one's also on top, two, eleven, fourteen. And we go down here. This is on all depths, 1, 2, 11, and 13. All right, so we just canceled out 1 and 13. Let's go down here a little bit farther. And then this is also 1 and 13. So it looks like if we was to cancel out those, even though they're on the bottom or on the top, it wouldn't matter because we're going on the bottom. Uh, that leaves us with 4, 6, 9. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pick out one of those locations. I'm probably going to go with location 9 just because I like that area. So let's head out there to location nine, and we're gonna be using the grasshopper. So I'll take you out there now, let's go take a look. All right, so here we are, actually it's location six, not location nine that I like. This is the, I kinda like this area here. I believe, I don't wanna speculate where it's at, I don't remember where it's at, but this is, I kinda like this kinda sunsetty view. Nice area. So anyways, let's get fishing. All right, so as we decided, we're gonna be using the grasshopper. As we can see, there is nothing else here that likes the grasshopper. So we won't have any competition with the grasshopper here, which will make it a lot easier. So we got the tree fish. It's on the depth of the bottom. So we're gonna be using a long line. We just press our thumbstick down a couple times, get it to the long length. And we're gonna be using the grasshopper. So just like many of my other videos, what we do is we grab our line here. I do have the grasshopper already. Press down a couple times, and we look for bubbles. Now I've done enough talking that the bubbles have disappeared. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. To do a reset, just go into your settings, go to hard, back to expert. You do need to be on expert for epic fish. Close that out, pick up your line here, and look for bubbles. I can't tell if that's bubbles out. No, that's just a reflection out there. Look like bubbles. We got some bubbles straight ahead. Let's cast out to those bubbles. And I tell you what, with these new controllers on the Quest 3, whew, casting is so much easier. It's just, boom, right there, dead on. <laughs> I'm, loving, I'm loving these controllers on the Quest 3. I am on reset number 8. I do see some bubbles right here. <laughs> right there. Uh, nothing. Not a quick bite. I see some bubbles right over here. Okay, let's come up a little bit closer. They kind of swam over to the left a little bit after that cast, but 
Should be close enough. There's my quick bite. There it is. All right, so that was eight resets before I found the found a fish that gave me a quick bite. So stumbling on my words there. This should be it though, because it is the only fish out here that will give you a quick bite on a grasshopper. So more than likely, this is our epic. Yep, I could tell by that jump too. It's got that fancy jump flapping around in the air. And yeah, it didn't take too long. Sometimes you have better days than others. And there is the tree fish. As you can see, I, I have gotten quite a few of these, 12 of them so far. So it's not that difficult to find. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.